All right, here's three minutes on defending capitalism. This is a word. This is a word. This is a word. First, I want to thank Mike on Raw for sharing a link to a Guardian article uh, that was happened to be written, written by Richard Wolf, who I spent some time talking about yesterday. And it was really talking about the fact that regardless of whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, that both of these parties ultimately stand for upholding capitalism. So from the Democratic point of view, uh, the sense is that we just need to make sure that we are mitigating the bad results or we are mitigating the problems that arise through capitalism from like the uncontrolled spending, the uncontrolled, this idea of uncontrolled growth that happens, the idea of the disparities of wealth that occur within capitalism, that we just need to be mitigating those things. And Republicans just say, let's just unfetter everything and capitalism's gonna work itself out. And at this point, I just wonder to myself, is there anybody who truly and conscionably would defend capitalism, right? When I was in high school and people would criticize capitalism, people would come back with, well, you know, well, what, is, what is the alternative? But I feel like now in the culture and the climate that we live in, there's been so much work and there've been so many experiments demonstrating around the solidarity economy for one. Obviously the capitalism that we practice even in the United States isn't like pure capitalism. We have so many social, programs that actually end up being the subsidy for capitalism. Anybody who was alive in 2008 when we had the huge housing market bubble crash and you know we saw the state step in and kind of save capitalism. <laughs> the state came in and saved capitalism, right? So if capitalism had just played itself out, we might have seen like a complete you know com the complete failure, complete com uh, collapse of the system which, you know, according to capitalism is what we're supposed to allow thing, you know, what was the, what we're supposed to allow, but we didn't, right? And so, of course, even people who are um, the defenders of capitalism, the apologists for capitalism, whatever you want to call them, still embrace the ideas that we should have certain social services, even if it's just the military, right? I don't think that there's a single person who is a capitalist that doesn't believe that the government should pay for an army, for example. And why do we need the army, for the most part, to protect <laughs> all that money, right? So even even with that, right? Even even that, um, capitalism doesn't kind of make, doesn't really make room for like defending itself, right? You get all that capital, but you need you need a uh, uh, assist, you need a uh, you need enforcement, right? You need violence to back that that capitalism. And of course, you know anybody who knows you know the history of the United States, we know that it was really this kind of great, uh, this um, large scale exploitation that was happening and large exploitation that continues to happen throughout the world. So I don't think that there's anybody who would say that those are good things in an economic system. So when people, again, who really would defend capitalism? Well, that's it for this video. Like it if you like it, share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. <laughs> love yourself. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto, big guns and dickies out.